560 homeless people died in the street last year. That's an abominable fact. It's a crime that this city allowed people to die in the street. It's three people a day. This is not the pandemic's cause. It's capitalism. And so one of our 10-point program demands in our campaign is cancel the rent and the mortgages for tenants, home buyers, and small landlords and small businesses. Woo! Just 260,000 restaurants have already shut down in the country, and they cannot pay the rent. If the rent were canceled, they could go on. They could make it, because people need those jobs. We were in Houston, Texas this week, and we went to a house and we went, knocked on the door, going door to door. A bunch of us were talking to people about the campaign. And a young man came out, and we told him about our program. We said, cancel the rents and the mortgages. He goes, yeah, but he goes, but I'm renting for my dad. He has just a couple small properties. And we said, look at our card. It says for small businesses and small landlords. He goes, right on. He goes, because you know, what would we do? And he said, and besides, I'm a socialist. So we said, he said, I wasn't going to vote for Biden or Trump, and I was just going to pick some third person party, but I'm voting for you. <laughs> we, in, in, in every city that I go to, the organizers say, could you please mention the last people who've been murdered by the police? If they're patrolling the streets, they shouldn't have guns, right. because their intent is to kill. Because they're told when you draw your gun and you point, you shoot to kill. Biden said recently on video, why shoot an unarmed man in the heart? You should shoot him in the leg. And I say, why shoot an unarmed man? Right, right. Unarmed. Why shoot an armed person? There are so many times people have had a gun or a knife. They're in crisis. But if a white, white supremacist like that written house with a big semi-automatic high-fiving the cops, high-fiving them, he can walk around with his gun. But Philander Castile in Minneapolis, who told the police officer, officer, I have a licensed gun, he gets gunned down. Gun possession is only for certain people. That's the story of America. That's the story of the richest country in the world. And it's the richest country because they've exploited us the most. They're rich because we're exploited. Because Amazon, Amazon that didn't pay taxes last year and made billions and billions in the pandemic, the capitalists like Bezos and Elon Musk and Zuckerberg and Gates and all the others, the owners of the you can name any company. They never have enough. Their taxes are never low enough. Their exploitation is never high enough. Their profits must always rise. And not just profits, but the rate of profit must increase. If they say they made 6% profit one year, it's got to be 8, 10, as much as they can do. That's why we're suffering. Because we don't make enough money in our jobs. Because we pay too high rent. And just imagine if we hadn't been in this campaign. You know, there are some groups that have set out that said, we, well, this time we have to vote for Biden. And we say this, it's way beyond this election on November 3rd. It's going to take a giant struggle of us. Because even if Biden is making promises, and even if he wins, it's three months until he becomes president. And then he said we need bipartisanship. We all need to work together, the Democrats and Republicans. You know where that got us was Obama. I heard someone today talking on the radio, very, very good interview of an immigrant rights activist. She said we must decriminalize migration. That's a really important concept. You know, a lot of people in some states, here in California, in 2016, people voted, unfortunately, because of the demonization of prisoners. They voted majority to speed up executions in the state. I don't know if you know that. 700 people on death row. They voted to speed it up, but they also voted for decriminalization of marijuana. Well, yes, we're for decriminalization of marijuana, but let's decriminalize
decriminalize migration and yep. give undocumented and permanent residents full rights now. Who, who's getting our food for us but the undocumented? Who's in the fields of California? Who's in the packing house workers with the immigrants? Black, Latino people, poor white people. And speaking of packing house workers who prepared chicken, beef, pork, in 1982, the inflation adjusted wage of the average packing house worker was $24 an hour. Today, it's $14 an hour. But the worst part of it is that their production, the rate of producing the food they produce has tripled in those 38 years. This is what we mean by exploitation. So we say this, no wars abroad, lift all the sanctions, no blockade of Cuba, yes! Venezuela. Yeah. Stop organizing that coup against Venezuela, lift the sanctions on Iran, on North Korea, We welcome you to be active with us. And then think about joining. We'd love for you to join. To fight this system with right. its military power and the cops and the courts and the jails and the prisons and all the laws that favor them. We have to fight in an organized way. Rebellion will always take place, but that won't change the system. It's not going to overturn capitalism. What we need is the millions of people organized the millions of people waking up in conscience. Already, most people know something's wrong. Most people know this system is not for them. It's not helping them. I've met so many people who need help. Uh, I was in uh, Champaign-Urbana, and we were marching for cancel the rally after the rally. And someone had something about a protest vote. Maybe it was me. <laughs> and this young man said, Voting for you is not a protest vote. He said, people are voting for Biden as a tr protest against Trump. But voting for you is the real thing. We'll show people in the country, you know, we don't get any media coverage. We have been on any media coverage nationally. Nope. Of course not. The debate? Can you imagine us saying these people are criminals? And Trump should be in prison for what he's done to the like, immigrant children. Woo! 545 parents cannot find their kids. What a torture for a parent. What a torture for a child. Damage the rest of their life if they don't see their family. And maybe if they even do. This is the price that people are paying for trying to live. So vote proudly, socialists. Vote Loretta Freeman. Vote for yourselves. Thank you.